Hi, I'm Jun Wei, an application engineer at Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'll walk you through the filter labs in the RF microwave teaching solution. In this lab, we have a 5G band entry downlink receiver that requires a band pass and low pass filter. We will go through two different approaches to find the right filter for the receiver. In the first approach highlighted in red, we will use an off-the-shelf filter and see if it is suitable. In the second approach highlighted in blue, we will start from scratch by synthesizing, simulating, measuring and finally comparing the design to the specification. Let's take the red approach for the RF band pass filter and the blue approach for the IF low pass filter. Now, let's get started with the red approach. We will measure two different off-the-shelf band pass filter and see if any of them meets our requirement. The Keysight N9917A handheld network analyzer is used for both filter measurements. So, we have both the filter results now. I have compared them with the design specification and the filter at the right is more suitable because it meets all the insertion loss and band rejection requirement. Let's look at the other approach. We will use this approach to design an IF low pass filter which is suitable for 5G band entry downlink receiver. We will design a 5th order Shabby Chef low pass filter with Genesis. Fill up the desired parameters at the filter properties window. And the filter design and response will be shown immediately. The component value may look impractical, so we can make use of the tuning function to convert the number to a round figure. With the component values generated from Genesis, we will now simulate the filter with ADS. In this ADS main page, we have a few items to investigate. Lab 1 components folder contains all the coil design generated with EMPRO. In this case, we have created four similar coil designs with different air gaps. Inductor simulation folder contains the layout simulation of the coil and 3D design drawings. The coil simulation will help you to understand the inductance response across frequency. Take note that this particular inductor design becomes capacitive at 690 MHz. So, the coil is now built into the filter. Similar to the coil, we are able to look at the filter layout and 3D design in the filter design folder. Does it look like what we had synthesized earlier? Two inductor coils and three capacitors. Let's now look at the filter simulation result in the filter simulation folder. It looks great, doesn't it? Now, let's compare with Genesis simulation result. The cutoff frequency actually shifted. It is due to the parasitic capacitance around the inductor pad. By fine-tuning the capacitance, we can ensure both Genesis and ADS result match. Next, we will measure the prototype filter that we built based on the ADS design. The cutoff frequency is around 190 MHz. Now that we have completed the lab, to learn more about the RF microwave teaching solution, please visit Keysight website and watch our short introduction video. Thank you for watching.